This is the in-depth video for the Wink. I know there's a lot of questions. I'm going to go ahead and try and answer them all right now. So what we have is a native 510 connection that will work with the drip shield. As you can see, there is no other connector, but below it, this is the connector. Inside, you're going to see my juice, and you're also going to see a little uh, slot there. We're going to actually put in a screwdriver and just that connector up, or, up and down uh, in case, like some of my 306s don't work on the silver bullet because they're not built long enough. Uh, so what I have to do is kind of pull up the pin. This, you just screw, screw, whatever. Uh, it is all metal. It's not plastic coated metal crap or whatever that stuff is. Um, it is all aluminum, uh, except for the chrome, which is chrome. Now, the button on here is getting removed, and we're not using this button anymore. found out that some of the ones that I had ordered were flaky. I don't want to get into that situation where I vape on it. It works for me. I send it out, and it's one of those flaky ones where it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. This, this one I have in here, which is not the silver bullet button, is like that. Silver bullet button is tried and true. And it is a lower profile, which I think will look much better on this device. Anyways, so here we go with the bottom. As you can see, maybe if the camera will do what I want to do. All right, in five volts on that side, that's where you charge. Out, that's USB, and that charges whatever you're going to plug into it. On turns the five volts on and also tells you what the, the power range here is. Uh, so you see the five volts on, I'm within the 71 to 100% uh, percent range for the battery. Now, you're gonna see this light go off here in a second without me doing anything. And that's one of the power features of this, is that if you're not using it within a specific time range, which is roughly around 20 to 30 seconds, automatically shuts itself off. Now, if you have something plugged into this, like a cell phone, iPod, pass-through, as long as you're using it before that, it says, hey, look, nothing's taking power, I'm just gonna go ahead and shut down. As long as you use it within that range, it's going to go ahead and continue to stay on for you. I uh, just want everyone to know that. Now, yes, for those people who want the 5 volt version on the Addy for that, you do have to push that button and then you'll have to vape on it. Um, just because, you know, using that extra 5 volts is going to chew away the batteries. I don't want you guys leaving the devices on and roll out the house with a dead device. Maybe, uh,. It may just save you from from having some bad uh, vaping experiences. Let's talk about the internal guts now. Uh, the tech mod, I'm not sure if you're aware of this or not, but it actually has stacked batteries. As you can see here, once the camera focuses, the negative and positive wire go to the same uh, point there. Basically what they're doing is they're connecting each other. Uh, then you go ahead and on the bottom, you got your negative and positive are going to specific uh, points there and it's not going to focus. Anyways, that's the same thing as taking this bat these two batteries here, uh, both negatives are facing down, putting a wire from here to there, and then running your power out from here and here. That's stacking batteries. Mine, my device here, uh, is actually going to help you out with saving some battery life, especially with you know charging cell phones or whatnot. Um, in this representation here, uh, all the positives are up here, all the negatives are down here. And all these positives connected together, wire comes out. All these negatives connected, wire comes out. And then it goes to your electronics or your atomizer or both. Uh, basically with that, what you know is that you're getting a true 3.7 volts every time you hit this device. Well, technically, if it's max charge, it's going to be 4.2 for quite a long time. Uh, and it's going to hold its charge value much better than, you know, using a single 18650, uh, you know, your power curve, due to the fact that it's, it's using all three batteries at one time instead of just, you know, one, which is kind of like, duh. Uh, but anyways, with the tech mod, it's boosting the voltage to charge it, and then it's dropping the voltage in order to go ahead and send it out to the USB. And that's a pretty inefficient way to go about building a, a device. I, a lot of people do love the tech mod, but after you get into it and you look at it, you're like, why do they do all this extra stuff when they didn't have to? So the, the electronics in the bottom of my device here actually go ahead and boost the voltage putting out and uh, 
it just makes it a, a safer all-around uh, device for you to use. Now, this is your case. As you can see, it's squishy, yet still hard. So you're not going to end up damaging anything by dropping this. Uh, your device will go there. Your wires and whatnot will go here. Now, you saw the charger port for that. It is not a mini USB. Uh, and you guys might be thinking, oh, no. Well, here's your USB cable, all right? There's USB down here. That's the charger wire. And this is for extra cell phone adapters. I've got some extra adapters that I purchased uh, online. And here they are. Now, also in this bag is the same charger port here for the device, but you can use one of these, uh, these wires here. It's got USB and the connector there. That actually is coming in there with it as, as well. So this isn't really long enough for me to go from my computer to my face with the device. However, this wire is going to be, as you, you know, can see, it can pretty much go the whole distance here because uh, my computer's right where my hand is, where the USB is. Uh, yours may be down here or whatever. Just gives you extra length. So that's it. Um, now, you may have asked, because uh, I got this question a few times, do the batteries come in it? Yes, they do. Uh, can I replace the batteries? I would rather you didn't because, you know, you may be handy with a soldering iron and doing, you know, wires or whatever. But if you don't understand, you know, the importance of safety when it comes to soldering to batteries or battery tabs, uh, you could potentially really hurt yourself and others uh, around you uh, by doing uh, that, that type of stuff. Leave it to me so that way you don't melt your face off. If I melt my face off, I can make anything kind of work. As you guys have seen, I've put mods into or mods together that were of the craziest nature so far on Babe TV. So even if I had a hunchback and my face was all melted off and I couldn't really talk anymore because half my tongue was melted and uh, disintegrated, I could probably still pull it off. You, I don't, I don't know how well you do with that, but uh, I'd say leave that stuff to me. Uh, most of you should know that lithium-ion batteries are rated at uh, 1,000 recharges. At that point, they go ahead and start dropping back on how much of a charge they actually hold, so your mob rating isn't still that same high peak that it was before. Um, but think of it this way. The batteries are all connected together. And you're getting 6,750 ma. How often do you think you're going to charge this thing? The only other way you'd probably end up you know, destroying this thing, dropping it in water, or some random act happens that, uh, that causes things to happen. That's another decup I just dropped. <laughs> Anyways, that's the video. Uh, a little bit more information about the pre-orders. It's half down. I'm going to go ahead and order the parts after all of the pre-orders are sold, okay? Once they're sold, I order the parts from the different uh, places that I need to, and then once they all come in, I get to work. Uh, so if you're wondering where pre-orders are right now, they are, I think we've sold 11 so far, and we need 20 more to go. Um, and the first 11 sold pretty quickly. I mean, they've only been up for, what, like three days or something to that effect. So I figure once this video is out there and more people know exactly what's going on with this device, uh, we'll, we'll pick up some more people. Uh, spread the word. Put these videos on whatever forums you go to. I don't personally go to any forums uh, other than Vapor Talk, so I may go ahead and throw those up on there, as well as uh, Vape TV's forum uh, at VapeTV.com. So take these videos, share them with your friends, uh, let people know what's what with the uh, the wink. And um, let people know that want tech mods, there's actually hope for them. That and now they don't have to have a for better for lack of a better word, a garbage mod. You guys have a great day and hope to see you on the interwebs. Vape your faces off, babies.